hi everyone uh, for subhanahu wa with you uh, today our subject is to talk about uh, uh, dynamic modeling of uh, reverse osmosis desalination uh, by the use of uh, 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 signal builder generator block uh, our intention is to study uh, how can we change uh, different parameters uh, uh, at the same time uh, of simulation uh, running period of time uh, you have to specify your uh, destination folder okay and double clicking on your model and go to view uh, similar model browser check all of this and here and check all of this okay uh, this is our model. Uh, this model we demonstrated this before dynamically. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, as you can see here, it's photovoltaic and uh, photovoltaic unit. This is our system. We have a, a vertical wind turbine unit, photovoltaic unit, and this is control room for splitting uh, the load between or uh, to uh, organize the load between photovoltaic and uh, PV so we did this before manually and this is our uh, reverse osmosis desalination plant with energy recovery device so uh, we have here uh, the, uh, we have to assign uh, because this is the main target of optim our optimization we have to uh, assign our productivity Okay, meter cube per day, and uh, to be sure that everything is uh, is incorrect. So I have to uh, uh, first of all before we did we did this before. You can ch change between. I have to. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to go here and uh, emphasize a little bit. Okay. Uh, uh, our model for reverse osmosis because the reverse osmosis is mainly responsible for uh, uh, power generation uh, or the load on photovoltaic or vertical wind turbine so this is our main target of optimization so if you optimize this uh, you will optimize your total costs and uh, uh, the area of the photovoltaic and number of units of uh, vertical wind turbine uh, briefly this is vertical wind turbine we have here we can calculate based on our we can um, I'm sorry double clicking here you can set your uh, uh, power per module suppose I need to develop for um, uh, I'm sorry I suppose I need um, 10 kilowatt module okay this is 10 kilowatt module okay operating conditions atmospheric pressure and uh, temperature okay and uh, we can go here for photovoltaic you can choose between uh, two types of um, of models solar radiation model if you have in the instantaneously uh, solar radiation what per meter square or um, total uh, accumulated uh, what per meter square is kilowatt hour per meter square suppose I need for uh, simple one what per meter square okay okay let's go inside a photovoltaic system we have two modules uh, as we we have uh, kilowatt hour per meter square and one per meter square uh, if you choose this, you have to assign some inputs. Suppose uh, our operating hours is 24 hours, and solar flux. Suppose it's uh, uh, 500 watt per meter square. And um, what is your module power? Uh, suppose I need for I need to go for 180 uh, module. Okay and this is battery voltage okay you can choose this performance and cost this cost per uh, per unit batteries okay for um, uh, okay for splitting a splitter unit 
Okay, uh, we have here for control room, you can choose uh, the load distribution between uh, uh, photovoltaics or uh, 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 vertical wind turbine. Uh, for for zero, okay, for full load, uh, for PV, you have to assign this to zero. So you are operating uh, on full load on um, uh, photovoltaic. If you check this for uh, control room for one, so you are fully controlling the photovoltaic and your photo your vertical turbine and uh, photovoltaic plant is uh, uh, shut down. So we need to discover at which load we uh, we optimized our uh, uh, our outputs. Our optimizing our output outputs means lower specific power consumption and uh, lower cost beside um, high product rate of productivity so we have to uh, suppose I, I i will go for 50% uh, load distribution okay 0 0.5 Hit apply. Okay, blend load factor uh, 0.85 is fine. Membrane annual replacement percentages it's around uh, around uh, 0.15 replacement. Okay, blend lifetime, interest rate, and direct capital cost for uh, 1,000 uh, for productivity. You have to assign this. We can change this. We can change this. Uh, it's around 1,000 uh, for. Uh, you have to multiply 1,000 by the, the the daily productivity of your plant. Okay. We can change this. Okay. Suppose I I have to go here and going inside and uh, direct capital costs. Okay, um, let's go here first. Control M and um, okay, emphasizing direct. Um, okay, direct. Uh, I have to change interest rate. I'll, I will change this for um, make it slider. Okay, it's from zero up to one. 0 0.05 okay and horizontal okay diet capital cost um, we can make this uh, slider okay make, make this as a slider I have to uh, I have to make this as a slider okay it's from uh, it's up to for minimum value is let it be uh, 500 and maximum value is 1000 okay our value is 1000 and uh, horizontally hit apply okay a plant lifetime uh, this is I have to let it top interest rate uh, control new row horizontal membrane okay membrane replacement efficient costs um, okay I'll give this uh, make it uh, top and this is new uh, labor costs I give this a top a specific uh, chemical costs okay let it be uh, top Okay, hit apply let's preview our results okay uh, okay let's go here for uh, this is the control room unit membrane annual replacement it's um, let it be a percentage so I will use a slider it's from 0 up to uh, 1 and 0 0.15 percent 
and this is uh, an horizontal of course okay and this one is um, okay and new row uh, this is a, a load factor okay I keep this it preview okay and this is our uh, plan okay fine so I have to go here inside after all of this I have to split the room or control room okay go inside and for direct costs I have to uh, we are kind of, uh, currently we are adjusting our model uh, we have to adjust our model for updating it let's go for um, common uh, used going for gain okay and um, I have to this is productivity input here so I can I can no there is no need for gain I have to multiply this so I have to check uh, mass operation uh, with uh, divide okay okay uh, I will make this two stars because we need to multiply direct uh, capital costs so I will put this here okay this is direct capital costs multiplied by uh, uh, plant productivity okay I have to uh, I need to take a stream from here okay so this is one thousand once from 500 to one thousand uh, multiplied by as a plant productivity okay okay and that's fine for now let's go for reverse osmosis okay for reverse osmosis um, I have to I'm sorry I have to go to uh, okay let's go here first and let's check our okay suppose I will run for uh, on uh, basic configuration we have three uh, main types uh, basic configuration built wheel drive and pressure exchanger uh, let's go for basic module okay I hit apply uh, but first I have to let's go for before beginning save your model save as okay let, let it be a uh, dynamic okay for now it's dynamic okay and hit save so save as okay in order to be sure that there is no mistakes or something like this okay uh, suppose I would go for 3500 meter cube per day uh, this is total salinity is uh, for uh, Mediterranean or Red Sea or whatever uh, amber temperature amber temperature seawater temperature okay and uh, I would choose seawater membrane type with 30 high recovery okay number of pressure vessels I think it's um, around 42 number of uh, vessels I'm sorry 7 number of membranes per vessels is 42 and uh, high bump performance it's uh, okay keep this 85 percent recovery ratio it's around say, from 15 up to I think it's from 15 up to 30 35 I will keep it at 30 foul factor okay and the rest is for built to wind drive and pressure exchanger so there is no need for uh, to change this okay uh, let's hit apply and watch keep watching let's go for basic basic module okay we need to keep watching but but before going to anything you have to check this and be sure this is um, a small square here in order to set uh, to send our signal data for uh, uh, data inspector okay or you can double clicking here and you can if you check this okay uh, okay stop 
it is stop so we have to stream signals okay if the thing is fine okay we have to keep watching our, uh, our pressure okay set your simulation time into zero okay that's this run is for inspection uh, i'm just inspecting uh, uh, my results okay this is my results okay uh, my pressure is around 68 this is uh, quite good but specific power consumption is uh, relatively high this is high pressure bump i keep this basic order to distinguish between uh, for uh, this is because uh, we have three models high pressure bump uh, built in wheel turbine okay and versus Moses okay for pressure exchanger consumption power okay okay so uh, 68 uh, bars uh, is quite normal quite normal so I have to go here first I, I will go here inside and going to um, Elvis is Moses, uh, genetic model, and let's go here. Okay, and so this is our limitation. This is our limitation, and this is our uh, objective function. We need to reduce, I have to emphasize a little bit, we need to reduce uh, because this is your model. Uh, this is objective function function we need to reduce high pressure power uh, and by maximizing uh, productivity this med is a plant productivity but we have here another uh, elements or parameters that we can uh, control in order to synchronize it between uh, uh, productivity and power because power represented representing here a specific bar consumption if you reduce uh, the, the power on the bump uh, you will reduce uh, as a specific power consumption but we have here uh, a number of pressure vessels let's emphasize here okay okay nv number of vessels so number of vessels we have some limitations it's from one up to eight okay and we have recovery ratio okay it's not to go more than uh, 30 percent or 35 maybe 40 okay and we have some um uh, this is river uh, density uh, seawater density so we can control this it's a function of uh, temperature and salinity okay we can control this and uh, this is efficiency of bomb efficiency high pressure bomb efficiency so we can um, we can control this efficiency so there is some limitation and this parameter is it, it's it's uh, a conclusion of recovery ratio multiplied by uh, all of these uh, number of elements number of membranes permeability, fouling factor, uh, temperature correction factor, and so on. So, and we have here, this is permeability, membrane permeability. Okay, this is salinity of the brine. So, we have here some limitations. Salinity, suppose I need to go from 35 up to uh, maximum, maximum values. It's around uh, 50 gram and uh, salinity of the product it's it's a results following factor it's around 85 uh, percent element area it's from one meter up to uh, uh, 35.4 maximum meter square meter square square meter the uh, temperature of the sea is from uh, 15 up to 40 number of elements I, I will keep this it is not for 40 it's uh, no more than uh, I think it's 25 okay 25 is fine I have to save, save this I'm sorry 
give it this okay and um, number of elements per uh, pressure vessels okay from one up to eight recovery ratio okay a minimum minimum value up to uh, uh, 0.5 okay and density so we have to set this these uh, values uh, in order to show how can we run our signal uh, builder okay as you can see this is inputs and this is output power uh, for uh, uh, as a result okay and this is our uh, objective function let's head back again let's head back that's to simulating model i'm sorry okay okay so uh, our our model is uh, is running smoothly and uh, fine okay let's go and try to use this uh, uh, dynamically we have two methods the first method is simple you have to assign this into infinity okay or whatever 10 seconds 10 hours it's up to you okay and you have to go here and double clicking on this one and try to change your parameters while uh, your model is running uh, in dynamic mode but there's some limitation for this uh, method that you, you you can't or you don't have the ability to uh, to change uh, all parameters at once you have to change parameter each parameters individually as you can see here i will run the model and show you uh, that's it run and see okay okay uh, the model is running okay now i have to go inside here for various osmosis and watch keep watching okay that's a changing for example productivity the increasing productivity will change power on the bomb specific power consumption okay pressure increase so if your pressure increase you have to increase the number of membranes in order to reduce your pressure okay increasing number of membranes means uh, uh, larger costs on um, your plan okay so you have to increase again adjusting okay increasing productivity okay let's increase uh, uh, reduce the salinity for example reducing salinity uh, will reduce the pressure and the specific power consumption increasing the recovery ratio also will increase as a power and increase as a pressure okay and oh, i'm sorry okay will reduce the power okay but it will increase the pressure okay up to uh, 40 so you have to increase the number of membranes again as you can see here okay okay head stop uh, okay that's it stop so we have to go here to our model okay to data inspector and see uh, the fluctuating of our results let's go for um, a specific power consumption as you can see here um, uh, fluctuating up and rise because we change it uh, uh, one of two parameters one or two parameters productivity okay but as you can see here this is a constant line because we uh, we stop for a while in order to use another parameter so for this for this uh, segment it's for productivity and this one for uh, salinity or whatever and this one for recovery ratio and this productivity again so and, and you have here this is uh, reversibility exergy analysis brine exergy district exergy okay and we have here uh, this is uh, pressure fluctuating on the bump uh, power this power fluctuation okay mass flow rate of the feed mass flow rate of the brine okay and salinity of the brines 
जिस चल रही थी और जिस तरह चल रही थी एवरेज चल रही थी हीर ओके सो एज यू कैन सी हीर बट वी वी नीड टू कंट्रोल ऑल ऑफ आवर एम्बुट्स एट वंस सो वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अनदर चेंजिंग इन इन द मॉडल I have to uh, delete, uh, delete all. Okay, yes, deleting all and remove this one. Okay, in order to begin another. Um, so, how can we use this? How can we use this? Okay, let's go here. This is our main. You, you, we, we change it. Here. We make our change it. We made our change it. Uh, our changes on reverses. Uh, uh, with our changes on reverses, uh, Moses. But suppose I need to change the load. Suppose I need to change uh, um, some parameters on uh, photovoltaic or vertical wind turbines at once. So we need a signal builder. Okay, let's go here and send this back. Let's go uh, outside. I'm trying to think about um, how can we? Okay, let's go. Uh, we can't use signal builder. Okay, uh, going for source, and we need this this block. It's quite interesting. Signal builder. Okay, signal builder. We can add many many parameters, but we um, at the same time. uh we can run this builder beside this four block this is i'm sorry uh was four block okay four a three to block i think it's okay and this is four block okay this is four a three to okay So for iterator, we can't run a signal builder at the same uh, uh, the same uh, uh, working space of uh, of signal builder. We have to remove this from here and put it here as an input. Or let's go here. So we need to change some uh, parameters. Okay, such as. Um, We need to change uh, productivity. For example, as you can see here, I, I will change uh, productivity. Trying to change productivity and uh, number of uh, uh, pressure pressure vessels. Okay, um, let it be uh, let it be some uh, environmental better conditions uh, such as salinity, salinity. But keep you, keep in your mind that there is operational range of uh, or category of operating range. Uh, suppose I need for from 1,000 meter cube per day up to 3,000 meter cube per day. So there is some kind of category of um, uh, of pressure vessels. You are not allowed to change from one up to. It's quite hard, but I will try my best for this one. I will try my best. Salinity, okay, up to 50. That's quite, quite high. A little bit. Okay, let's go for just an example. Okay, first of all, I need to. Uh, okay, going here. Control M. Or right click here. That's the right click here. And going for uh, mask. Edit mask. Or Control M. Parameters. Okay. Uh, which parameters we are going to change? Ambient temperature. Ambient temperature. You we can we can change this one. We can change this one. I think. Uh, I'm better temperature, but just make an example for a smoother temperature, salinity. Okay, going for dialog. Okay, enable and visible. 
I will uh, change this one. I will change this one. I will remove enable and visible. So if you hit apply in the view, okay, you will not find salinity. There's no salinity. I removed it. If if we check this again, you I hit the view, you will find okay, this is our salinity. So we can uh, remove this uh, I have to I'm sorry preview again it's 70 kilogram per meter okay uh, let's remove this one and I will remove uh, productivity as well I'll remove productivity okay so we have here productivity and um, salinity uh, number of uh, pressure vessels um, and the uh, number of element, element, pressure elements I think it's number of elements we can change this I think we can change or keep it keep this one okay uh, following factor recovery ratio okay let's remove recovery ratio and trying to change this one okay so I would build my signal builder for three uh, for three uh, units, uh, three uh, elements. Okay, so don't forget to. Okay, and going here for um, basic menu, as you can see here, with our productivity. I'm sorry, uh, for outside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Outside the vertical wind turbine. Let's go here and. Productivity, I think it's yes, productivity is here. Okay, this is up over. Okay, I have to remove this one, remove productivity and salinity and recovery ratio. Okay, I will replace this. I will replace this. Let's go here and going for source and inputs okay we need three of this one and one okay another one okay remove productivity and put this one here okay and uh, or uh, this is another method another method let's go for not removing control z okay okay keep everything i have to let's try signal builder from inside i will try signal builder from inside control x going to reverse this moses and uh, here and put it here control v okay i will remove productivity and uh, salinity and recovery ratio saving so we have here uh, we need three parameters we need three uh, parameters suppose I'm going for simulation time from uh, let's go for configuration parameters okay okay going for configuration parameter okay uh, starting time let it be from um, okay from uh, uh, eight up to um, or from zero never mind from zero we can uh, set our simulation time from zero up to uh, 24 hours 24 hours okay hit apply okay and okay okay it's 24 and we need three uh, let's uh, treat our signal builder we need this is signal one okay uh, signal one let it be um i will, key, I will name it as um, uh, x feet or salinity of the feet okay the salinity of the feet and i have to adjust this one i can add file uh, um, Let's go for. Uh, I'm trying to remember. 
um, axis changing import of from file export okay I think we can our simulation time up to okay uh, let's go for axis I change time range yes changing time range it's from zero up to uh, 24 okay that's 24 and um, we need to set our um, okay okay let's go here and this one At time 24 and y0 okay and it will take some time with me <laughs> i'm sorry set y limits okay y limits i think it's um, as you can see y limit is if it's from 35 up to 50 salinity 35 uh, okay okay 35 up to 50 okay this is y limit okay and oh, I'm sorry uh, okay uh, why limit and T limits okay T limits time and set Y limits okay from 75 up to 50 and Where's the point? I'm sorry. Uh, okay, you can add from new, can add another signal. Let's go for another signal. Uh, and we can add another signal. Okay, so this is salinity and this one, uh, signal two, signal two, I think it's, this is productivity. Okay, in the street, meter cube per day okay and the third one is um, the third one is recovery ratio or or recovery ratio so we have here let's say saving for this one I was formatting okay and okay this is my Okay, the first point here, first point, um, is from, that's a changing our, let it be, uh, 35, at Y0, I'm sorry, minimum display limit must be, okay, uh, okay, let it, um, setting Y limit, Y limit, I'm sorry, display or limit. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 35 up to 50. Okay. Okay, where's the point? <laughs> I have to uh, adjust it again. Zoom, okay. Zoom in Y. Okay. Uh, let's go up. I can remove this one. Okay. Let's go up. Okay, more salinity ranges. Okay, let's go for uh, 30. Okay, I think this one, this point, it's around 30. You can hold shift uh, or control. I think I need another point. Okay, holding shift, 
and you can add many points so you can uh, as you can see here and this point it's uh, it's 50 okay so we can uh, make some fluctuation for our results the salinity gradient you can make it constant okay you can make it constant if you would like let it be here okay okay this is maximum allowable salinity so we can as you can see here holding shift and if you click here hold shift and uh, sorry Okay, control and then hold shift in order to change uh, some uh, add points as you can see here. I'm trying to make it uh, to normalize it. Okay. Okay, this is salinity of feed. Let's go for productivity. Uh, suppose productivity, I need. Uh, to make it uh, from 1000 up to okay let's go up okay first point it's around 1000 okay oh I have to adjust my uh, my limits for this one I have to adjust my limits set y display limits um, y limits it's minimum it's around 1000 meter cube per day and maximum it's around 3500 okay where is this uh, signal oh again oh, I'm sorry A signal again okay for this point uh, 1000 oh again I have to go up okay let's go up oh, 100 and okay 500 1000 okay okay very nice Okay, let's go for uh, axis, Y limits, Y limits is from uh, 1000 to 3500 meter cube per day, so we can control this, um, the white is around 1000. And let's hit, let's try to add more points. I'm sorry, more points for uh, more data values. Okay, in order to normalize my, uh, my inputs to get a normalized output okay changing uh, productivity more values to will give us uh, uh, normal results for here i i'm going for c5 double zero okay okay let's uh so i'll remove this one okay let's change make some changing increasing the productivity says to pull the activity as you can see here okay 3050 100 okay and 3,000, more than 3,000, let's go up, let's go up, 
and see our results. We can go down again if you would like. Okay, we can we can go down again. Okay, so we can uh, get some results from uh, a real oper uh, oper operational hour from a real plant. You can embed it here. Okay, and recovery ratio. I think recovery ratio is from uh, okay from this one. This point is around uh, 0 0.1 five. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to adjust my again for recovery ratio. Let's set uh, Y limits. Um, it's from zero up to uh, one. Okay, so at this point, at, is it at um, zero? At time zero, we need uh, zero point one. Okay, up to the recovery ratio. Okay, and and I think this is at uh, uh, 0 0.35, or 0 0.5. Let it be 0 0.5. Okay, recovery ratio. I think it's uh, okay. 0 0.5. Okay, let's hit back again. 0 0.5. Okay, we can add some points. Okay, I hit shift. I'm sorry. Okay, and changing my recovery ratio. So we can go up for okay. This will help us dynamically. Okay, then I'm okay. Okay, let's go up for a while. Okay, this is this is just an example for um, how to change three parameters at once at the same at the same time at the same uh, time limitation. Okay. And we are going to see uh, our effects. So if you close this one, let's say it close, you will find three outputs, as you can see here. I'm sorry. Okay, salinity, productivity, and recovery ratio. And this is for productivity. Okay. And this is for uh, feed salinity. And this is for recovery ratio. And as I said, you can add uh, whatever you would like for, uh, we name this group one, for example, you can use this as a group one for performance, you can make another one, and, and you can remove, and let's go here, and you can name this one, you can name this one, okay, this, you can rename this, you rename your group, okay, rename your group, and you can, uh, so suppose this is a gr group number two and you can rename and type here operating conditions operating uh, conditions okay and you can add uh, temperatures and sea temperatures and uh, uh, and so on okay uh, just an example for this one uh, let's hit run and see Okay, uh, let's go here. I think let's sit on and see our reflect results and effect. Okay, error because oh, I'm sorry. And um, character, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I have to go here. I have to, I think the our problem is for. Um, Okay, controlling X, going outside, control V, returning back again, and I have to, I'm sorry, I have to um, uh, doing this, uh, let it be, uh, 
bus creator okay and uh, I think it's uh, signal this uh, bus as outputs or we can use uh, the mux okay let's go here okay number of three I'm just trying but remember this is salinity productivity and recovery ratio all of this with uh, one input uh, going to source and I, I have to go here okay one source let's go for for here okay we need to put another uh, source input here okay control i i'm sorry control i and let it be group one uh, group one okay so we have to go outside here this is group one we need to add here um, uh, okay uh, max okay it's a three three inputs a salinity productivity and uh, recovery ratio let's go and I hope it can work this time let's go here and hit run okay it worked so as you can see here okay let's go here for an inspector okay and see all this this specific bar consumption according to uh, fluctuating exercise of the feet as you can see here, exercise of the brine, uh, pressure. Okay, so this is. Uh, let's go here for. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, specific bulk consumption. This results. This result based on our uh, data inspector, as you can see here, and based on. Uh, I'm sorry, based on. Uh, uh, signal uh, builder changing our productivity as you can see here and recovery ratio uh, give us uh, this uh, output results uh, and I have to check some uh, go here for salinity for salinity okay uh, okay, going for basic module. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Okay. So suppose I am. Uh, I I will make make another uh, make another changes. Let's go for uh, uh, for salinity. You can change. This is one thousand. Uh, okay, let's let's check here. Let's check. Going for sync, displaying. Okay, this is. Um, okay, okay. The last point for productivity, I think. This one. No, I'm for, for productivity. I'm sorry. Okay, 4800. That's fine. And this is my our recovery ratio, I think. Okay, let's. I'm just to, to ensuring that uh, everything is fine. Uh, okay, fine. So these are our uh, results and salinity, as you can see here. Salinity, 
50 fine okay we can uh, let's go for um, I'm trying yes here and clear our results let's go here and clear all clear all delete all okay so as you can see here it's just an example about um, uh, that you can use signal builder in order to change uh, some parameters you would like to change uh, at once at the same time uh, so uh, it's quite easy for you and um, uh, it become easy to address the fluctuating of your results at the same time by using um, one signal builder or whatever you can uh, categorize your signal builders and you can use uh, them for changing uh, in order to change your uh, inputs at the same time in order to get your output results based on um, these changes and something like this okay um, we can change another thing I think we change the recovery uh, salinity productivity I have to go here and, and see I'm sorry let's clear this one uh, we can change uh, suppose I am let's go here and okay let's see what the temperature number of okay number of elements let's go for uh, using this one okay we can change number of elements per pressure physics as well I think it would make uh, different results let's go for control M let's go here Con uh, number of elements number okay number of elements remove enable and visible and go here okay go inside here and as you can see number of no no for this one okay number of uh, elements this one let's remove this but before all this we have to okay i i will make this four okay removing this one connecting number of elements okay let's go for outside for signal builder we have to make this four and here we have to add another signal for going to signal and add new signal okay constant for example okay and we can use this i'm sorry number of elements ne for example okay ne and uh, let's set our uh, saving setting our limits uh, this uh, y limits y limits is from uh, number of elements uh, from 1000 I think it's 20 up to uh, 45 elements per pressure of results 45 okay and we have to go here going up okay 20 up to uh, 45 number of elements so this is a uh, at time zero it's 20 in 20 in elements 20 in brains and for uh, for this one I think this is make it 50 and hit sh hold shift I'm sorry a little bit ridiculous here I'm sorry okay that's increasing 
number of elements. Okay. Holding shift and click. Hold shift and click. Okay. Uh, up. Okay. And hit save. Okay. This is number four number of elements. Let's hit run and see our result going inside. Keep watching on uh, pressure. Let's see our pressure. Oh, because we increased number of, of elements massively, so we have to reduce reduce it again. I'm sorry. And let's go back. Number of elements. I think it's uh, 40. And let's go. Okay, let's remove this one. Delete, 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 delete. And reducing this, I think it's... Uh, Okay. Okay, let's hit save. And let's uh, watching our pressure. Okay, no, no, we have to remove, we have to reduce it again. I'm sorry, we have to reduce. Keep reducing pressure and I have to reduce number of elements. Okay, we can remove this. Sorry, uh, undo. Okay, let's check again. I'm not sure what is the problem with number of elements. Uh, I think it's. Uh, I'm trying again number of elements. Oh, it is not connected here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's go back. Return. Oh, increasing massively. Oh, you have to increase the uh, number of elements. I think. I think we have to increase it, not not to decrease. I think we have to increase it. I think from 1000, I think it's around 30. Let's increase. Let's increase and keep watching. Going here. Okay. Oh, again, uh, I think the final value is, is, is there is a problem with the final value of number of elements. I'm not sure uh, because the recovery ratio is, is uh, 50. Uh, yes, yes, recovery ratio. So, suppose I need to decrease the final value of the recovery ratio. I have to decrease this one. I have to decrease this one. Recovery ratio is, uh, is a little bit high. Okay, let's remove this. Okay. Okay, I think I think maybe this one can can work. It's just an example. Uh, you can keep trying for this. I'm just showing you. Okay, 
the cover ratio is uh, was very high so it's uh, we have to decrease our recovery ratio remove this one oh i'm sorry again undo i have to click here and remove uh, let's decrease our recovery ratio decreasing our recovery ratio okay for a while okay and uh, for this one a number of uh, pressure uh, mm, we can we have to decrease this one okay let's decrease this one okay let's decreasing number of elements decreasing number of elements okay we'll adjust our uh, pressure okay okay and let's see here oh there's a problem with the recovery issue and uh, and uh, i'm sorry okay oh, i'm trying I'm trying. Oh, I didn't connect this one again. Oh, okay. Stop. Okay, reducing uh, number of elements. Try to reduce number of elements again. Number of elements. It's relatively high. Okay. I'm trying to reach uh, around uh, uh, seventy bars, eighty bar, no more than this. It's quite normal. And let's see here. Okay. Anyway, so uh, let's go here inside and removing all of these runs. Did all. Okay. Yes all okay let's hit run we can we can use our step let's go for a, a server here we can variable step and you can max you can select your step step size you can select just the button I think fix it step it uh, and discrete okay and let's see it wrong okay let's see here this is one run and okay specific bulk consumption as you can see fluctuating because we changed the number of elements uh, reversibility Exergy of the feed, exergy of the brine, exergy of the distillate, pressure fluctuating, and power, uh, mass flow of the feed, brine. So you you can uh, you learn today how to use the signal builder with the versus Moses. You can make uh, the, as the same sequence. You can make signal builder for photovoltaic uh, operating conditions, signal builder for a vertical wind turbine, and you can simulate your um, plant as it in, in, in real oper operational uh, uh, conditions. Uh, finally, I uh, would like to thank you very much for your uh, interest in our model. Uh, don't forget to like, uh, share, subscribe. Uh, thank you very much.